instead of having the, uh, the Paralympics after, why don't we have it before? After 20 years, Benoit, you're calling it a day. Yeah. Do you feel comfortable in that position yet as a retired Yeah, well, it's, um, I'm not sure if I realize it yet. I wish I had the energy and the ability to go to Tokyo. I think I could make the team, but I'm not sure if I would be competitive the way I want to be. Mm -hmm. and, and, and family now, I went back to school. I just feel it's, it's great timing. To every Paralympian, holds the Paralympic movement close to their heart, especially you've spoken about it many times. In the past 20 years, how has it evolved? Probably 10 years ago, uh, people were often asking and, and debating, and uh, you're going to the Special Olympics or the Paralympics. So it's, it's, it's two different things, and, and, and it's important to educate Canadians on who we are, what we do, and where we come from. So I think it's probably what makes me the most proud of, 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 of leaving the sport, uh, knowing that the movement is in a better place. Is there an example where you were like, wow, we've come well, a long way? Back in Sydney, in my first Paralympics, I, um, I, I, there, was, there, there was no coverage. There, there, there was no... Uh, Literally. Yeah, n nothing. There was nothing, at least on the French side, there was nothing happening. Uh, so, so it's now it's day and night. Well, you, you, uh, you, you, we go to the Paralympics, and Canadians can witness our Paralympic athletes uh, perform. And in London 2012 was a cri critical time around the world because uh, the Brits they they took the opportunity of having the Paralympics. They broadcast it the same way as they did for the Olympics. That was that was a first. That was the first time. It was a great model that we not only Canada, but many countries around the world are now following. Uh, and and it, it really made a big switch the way we see our athletes and we support them. And it's probably um, in the marketing, we say uh, the Paralympic brand is probably the sporting brand that has the more grow potential in the next couple of years compared to pro sport because or Olympic sport because it's already so well known. So having mentioned that, because that's a great point, we talked about how far it came, but what more still needs to be done? If you could choose one cause that you think hasn't moved as fast as you would have liked to seen it move in terms of the movement. That's a good one. Instead of having the, uh, the Paralympics after, why don't we have it before? Mm. And why I say that is, say you buy tickets to see a Celine Dion concert. Would you see the upcoming local artist before Celine or after? you would see the upcoming local artists yeah. before. And at least 60, 70, 75% of the stadium would be uh, ready because they will know that Celine, which is the Phelps of our world, uh, coming. Yeah. Uh, well, if it's after, unfortunately, a lot of that stadium will be empty because the big show would have been done. So we understand where we position ourselves within the sports system. Mm -hmm. and, and, and again, I'm not sure if it's something that it's going to happen on a short uh, notice, but I really think that the movement will be in a better position and would grow even further if it was the opposite, having them before instead of after.